I just want to talk for a few minutes about what's going on on the planet. I think a lot of us are feeling the same thing. So we're in the midst of an energetic transformation. And if you follow me, you've seen some of my videos or some of my newsletter posts about how we're moving from an old earth, which is the 3D realm, into a new earth, which is 5D, right? And I just wrote a book on this, What's Your Heaven? So we don't spend a lot of time talking about that, but it's a time of increased cosmic energy flowing between the physical realm and the spiritual realms. So what that really means is that the veil is thinning between heaven and earth and the energy is amplified. So it's an awesome time to do readings and to connect with spirit. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing here shortly. But also a lot of us are feeling symptoms from this physical, mental, emotional, spiritual symptoms the past few days, especially past few weeks, past few months. Some positive for sure, but a lot difficult or challenging, uncomfortable stuff coming up, myself included. But all of it, what my guides keep reminding me of is that it's necessary. It's like the caterpillar becoming the butterfly. So it's layers and levels of our own shadow, you know, all the stuff surfacing that needs to be released to make room for the new energy, the lighter, higher vibrations that we can embody. So think of it kind of like a purging to move us from 3D consciousness into 5D. So if you're interested, I just put a video, video out last week on the signs and symptoms and maybe some helpful tools that you can use. But the reason I bring this up, tonight doing this and stuff like this is a great way for, for us to support our process of ascension and expansion. Why? Because it's high vibe, right? So whenever you do high vibe things, you're going to shift and expand and you get into 5D. And so it makes everything easier and better. So we're gathered here tonight, not only to get messages from your departed loved ones, which you will get some direct and a lot of you parallel, but we're also here to elevate our energy and our consciousness, right? So think of tonight kind of like in addition to connecting to spirit, it's also like getting an energy healing for the next two hours. You are truly changing your vibration if you allow yourself to do that. So we come together collectively and then with our divine spirit and with our teams in spirit to support that process. Make this a to be continued so that when you walk out of this, you have a more direct divine connection, all right? more divine intervention, more direct signs and communication coming to you and for you from your team and spirit. I have to share an amazing story that happened two days ago in my in-person small group reading. And the reason I want to share this is that for those of you who have never worked with me, I am an evidential medium. I provide evidence. I provide validation, things nobody can know except you and your departed loved ones, right? It builds your own authentic faith and trust, right? That this is real and your loved ones didn't die. Energy doesn't die. It changes form. It is still there and available to connect with you. So here's case in point. I had a group of eight people and two people fell out last minute. So six people, those six people were meant to be there. Of those six, one man bought five of those tickets. So he brought some family members and some close friends. So I'm reading this man. And then the woman sitting to his side was his dear friend. Her husband died. His name was Bruce. And he died by suicide three months ago. And so this woman was there with her daughter. And Bruce was really strong. And we were amazed at how he was coming through. And he was so clear. And he had just died. And I said, it's because his intention, his love for you to make sure you're to let you know he's and how deeply, terribly sorry he is and so forth. He was using all his energy and he did a beautiful job. Well, one of the things he said was he, he kept showing me her cell phone. I said, he's messing with your cell phone. She said, oh yeah, I've had a few really incredible things happen with text messages with my cell phone. And so I said, well, he's laughing and he got your attention, but he's going to do it again. We left it at that. Fast forward five minutes later, I look at the daughter and I said, do you have a question? And she said, yeah, actually I do. Something's really bothering me about, and she talked about a relationship. And right then, that woman's cell phone got a text that said, don't worry about it, comma, Bruce. 
Do you see that? That came up on her Apple Watch as a text message. Bruce signed his name, gave the message, but then you guys, it gets crazier. It disappeared. And before it disappeared, I saw it and he, I said, get a picture. And so he got a picture of it and then it was gone. Amazing, right? I was so excited. So that was such amazing work by Bruce. And I've had that happen probably a dozen times in 20 some years. It's rare that it happens in real time, but it happens. And so I share that with you because you're going to get evidence, but also when you walk out of this, ask them to show you magic, to create the miracles, to deepen your faith and trust.